I bless you. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for this noonday prayer. I thank God for all of you who join us, whether by podcast or live or messenger. Amen. God bless you all for joining us every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Tuesday through Friday at noontime so that we could go before the Lord together about what's going on in the lives of his, of God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for all of you being here with us today. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we're going to talk on the subject faithfulness. Amen. Being full of faith, being filled with the faith of God and trusting Amen. Hallelujah. In God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we trust God. We believe God. Amen. Hallelujah. And we look to God for the deliverance. Deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we pray that you receive something out of this today. Amen. Hallelujah. That you receive a word that we may bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the people of God again. Turn down your phones or mute your phones or go into a quiet area. Amen. So that everybody, amen, hallelujah, uh, can hear clearly. Amen. Today we're in the book of Lamentations, the third chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, uh, amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God, um, for the subject today, faithfulness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, um, and the book of Lamentations, amen. Um, the cries out to Israel, uh, of Israel to God about the situations that are going on in the lives of his people. There's nothing wrong with crying out. It's not a lack of faith. It's not a lack of understanding of God's word. It's not a lack of having the spirit of God down on the inside of us to lament, amen, hallelujah, to make a cry out to God about what's going on in your life. Yeah, I was asked many, many years ago, uh, uh, sir, why why do we need to pray to God that knows what we're going through? Amen, hallelujah, because we invoke his presence. Amen, hallelujah, we invoke his presence. Amen, amen, asking it shall be given, seeking shall find, knocking the door shall be opened unto you. So we call and we cry out to him, even though he knows what we're going through, Amen. Because we invoke his name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Amen. Whosoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we know that we need to call on him in the time of trouble. Amen. Asking it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knocking the door shall be opened. That's why we answer. That's why we call on him. Even though he knows what we're going through, yet we still call on his holy name. Amen. Petitioning unto him the desires of our heart according to his word, his will, and his way. So Lamentations is that cry unto God about what the people of God are going through. Amen. Hallelujah. And so this is a word of encouragement. They encourage themselves here in Lamentations, the third chapter. Amen. 22 through 26. Amen. I believe I post that for you guys. Amen. And you that on the podcast, you can pause if you watch it on the video. Amen. You can pause it and go to and get your Bible. Amen. But I'm going to read it for you if you don't want to go get it or you don't have one around you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Lamentations, third chapter, 22nd verse says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions Fail not. Now, early in the chapter, we see Israel, amen, uh, failing God, amen, and God, amen, punishing them for not obeying them, amen. But although I've come through all these different things, even though I'm fighting through all these different adversities, amen, hallelujah, I'm making it not because I have the power or the strength to make it through the adversities, amen. It's because God is merciful. Amen. God unmerited favor toward us. Mercy, again, like I always say, mercy is not for the, the innocent. Amen. Mercy is for the guilty. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it's of the, of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because he's gracious toward us and his compassion fail not. Amen. Hallelujah. He is compassionate to us. He loves us. Amen. He cares. Amen. And what we're going through. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So they are new every morning. Great is thy faith 
faithfulness. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith, a hope, a trust, a belief. Amen. In, in God, in this case, amen. We have a lot of faith in a lot of things. Amen. We have a lot of hope and trust in a lot of things that they'll work out. Amen. But God is great in faith. He is faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is faithful. Hallelujah. He is full of faith. Great is thy faithfulness, the condition of being faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's continually faithful. Amen. I don't know about you, but there are circumstances and trials and tribulations in my life. Amen. That allows me to continue to be faithful, faithful to God. Amen. Somebody said, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Hallelujah. Somebody else said, if it ain't one thing, it's two. Hallelujah. Amen. And they get two and they get two. Hallelujah. Till they all start piling up on you. Amen. Hallelujah. But that same, amen, consistency in the attack of the enemy and the things that we may do. Amen. That causes us, amen, pain and suffering in our life. Hallelujah. God is even more faithful. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the first and the last. He which was, is, and is to come. The almighty God. He, he don't slumber or neither do he sleep. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is the shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. God is faithful. Amen. They're renewed every morning, every morning when I wake up, when I rise up. Amen. Hallelujah. He allows me to wake up. Amen. Hallelujah. I might be in pain when I wake up. I might be, hallelujah, incarcerated. I might be in the hospital, whatever the case. But God has faithfully allowed me, amen, to go to sleep and to wake up in the morning. Hallelujah. And every day that he give you, my brothers and sisters, amen, is another opportunity to give him praise, honor and glory for the things that he has done. Yes. Amen. It seemed like nothing has changed. One thing that has changed. I have changed. Amen. I'm still holding on to the Lord. Amen. Forgetting those things that are behind me and reaching forward to those things that are before me. I press toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. What are you saying, preacher? What I'm trying to let you know is if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I don't get it. What you're trying to say, pastor. Amen. I'm trying to let you know because God is faithful and because we are in in Christ, we become faithful to Christ. Amen. We become faithful just like God. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. The more you rely and depend on the Lord. Amen. The more like Christ we become. Amen. The more faithful we become to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Then we become people of faith. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We become people of faith. Hallelujah. We walk by faith. Faith and not as so many scriptures it take me all day to quote them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We walk by faith and not by sight. So we become faithful, not in our righteous unrighteousness, because in sin, we are faithful to Satan. We are faithful to darkness. We are faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We can count on us. Amen. To do the same thing the same way, the same time. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But when Christ comes into our life, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. Our lives have become changed. And so therefore we are creatures of habit. I tell folk, amen, they take you to 12 steps, three steps. Hallelujah. Amen. I try to let folk know, amen, you can't, amen, hallelujah, break habits. We are creatures of habits. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm trying to help somebody today. I hope I help somebody today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And some are, some people, they try to quit smoking and try to quit drinking. Hallelujah. First of all, amen, if you confess your sin, he's just and faithful to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So when we in Christ, he breaks those things and those habits from us. He can. We can't. We are creatures of habit. We can't break habits. Hallelujah. He has to break us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He that is of contrite spirit. He has to break us. Amen. Hallelujah. That, 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 that's sorrowful about what I'm going through. That's why it says prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. We don't want to supplicate. We don't want to subjugate ourselves to God. Hallelujah. We don't want to submit and commit our way to God. Some of us pray for deliverance while 
pondering. Amen. Jesus, help me. Lord, pass this Friday. Come on, let's go home happy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for deliverance while yet still planning, amen, to separate ourselves from the God and the will of God. Hallelujah. So we are, we are faithful, amen, to darkness, amen, born in sin, shaped in iniquity, come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And we can be faithful to God, hallelujah, because he's in us. If you abide in me, my word abide in you. You can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Hallelujah. Once we become, amen, children of the most high God. Hallelujah. Then we become faithful to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so when that temptation and when that desire comes and hallelujah, it's a part of your flesh. Amen. The flesh do minor things of the flesh. The flesh is the concierge. Amen. It's the, it's the, it's the Google. Amen. It's the search engine. Hallelujah. Whatever you think of in the flesh, the flesh manages that. Amen. It gets that done for you. That's what the supervisor is for. That's what the foreman, the foreman is there to make it happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody got a job to do. They hired to do a job. Then why the foreman there? Then why the supervisor there? Hallelujah. Why the comptroller? Amen. Why the, amen. Why the managers there? You don't need managers. You got employees they're paid to do a job why do you need managers because somebody need to be looking after who was in charge of this amen that man that supposedly committed suicide they're trying to figure out who did it because the god is not a god amen hallelujah he was there amen they're trying to figure out how this happened hallelujah amen we need managers we need people on the floor amen dealing interacting with folk hallelujah and that's what the flesh does it, it manages the flesh hallelujah amen and so whatever you need the satan satan's going to make sure you get it hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. And you fulfill your will, your will is according to the flesh, but the flesh, the spirit do minor things to the spirit. Hallelujah. For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. So I'm free. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans 8 tells me. Hallelujah. Therefore, there is no condemnation of them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free, have made me free. Hallelujah. From the law of sin and death. I'm no longer Amen. Bound by the laws and the rules of this flesh and carnality. I'm free in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and once we be free and he whom the son has made free is free indeed. So I'm going to stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made me free. And I'm not being entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I'm no longer faithful. I divorce you, Satan. Hallelujah. We breaking up. Hallelujah. I'm deleting your name. Hallelujah. I'm deleting you. How to delete, 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 delete. How to, I used to go over here. Delete. Hallelujah. I used to talk like this. Delete. I used to listen to this kind of music. Delete. Hallelujah. I used to wear these kind of clothes. Delete. I found me oh god i found a friend that's above all the others hallelujah i found a friend amen that i can be faithful to hallelujah some people that you you go out with and date or try to talk to amen they don't allow you amen hallelujah to be faithful how to because of their actions amen they're asking i'm gonna help you all out can i help you all hallelujah only two reasons a person gonna ask where you at amen hallelujah jesus help me jesus hot it's friday pastor stop it hallelujah hot there's only two reasons a person gonna ask you where you at Amen. Hallelujah. They either insecure or they want to know where you are. So when you don't run into each other, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus plotting and planning. Amen. Strategizing. Hallelujah. Amen. The tactician. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to, I hope I don't hurt somebody today. Amen. The next time they ask you, amen, pray first before you give them an answer. Amen. As James said, be prepared to give an answer according to the hope that lies within you. Hallelujah. Don't, please don't let that pass feel. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm just letting you know. Hallelujah. Amen. And so people will set you up amen to, to to maneuver around you amen hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah that's what the flesh does it minds the things of the flesh but the spirit mind the things of the spirit amen hallelujah the flesh work amen how, trying to work you amen how, the spirit works for you amen the willing to do of god's good pleasure hallelujah amen your new creature old things have passed away behold all things have become new how can they hear hallelujah amen hallelujah without a preacher how can he preach except he be sent Hallelujah. You got to know that, that God has sent us some apostles, some prophets, some pastors, some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, Hallelujah. for the work of the ministry, the edifying of the body of Christ. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. Lifting up the body, coming together as the body of Christ, coming together as faithful believers. One can chase a thousand, two can chase 10. That's why we got 1200,000 religions. Hallelujah. Amen. Cause Satan don't want us working together and walking together, believing together. Definitely don't want us praying together. Hallelujah. Amen. 
hallelujah, because he said, the God said, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, ah, God, thank you, turn from my, their wicked ways, seek my face, then shall I hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sin and I'll heal the land, hallelujah, thank he don't want the land healed, because the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, so he wants to mess it up, when he came from light, he hit the dirt, amen, he came from heaven, hallelujah, he hit the dirt and turned everything up, the diamonds and gold, everything on top of the ground, but now, you got to dig for it, hallelujah, you got to go hunting for it, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, so he came to turn things upside down, you say, God asking, what are you coming up here for, what are you doing here, Satan, I'm, I'm going to and fro, up and down, seeking whom I may devour, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, have you considered my servant Job? And y'all know the story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was his servant. He was still his servant after, after it ended. Hallelujah. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank God. Amen. That even while the devil do his best, he do his worst to us. God is faithful to us. Hallelujah. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I dare you to give God praise right in the middle of the situation. How did, when you don't know the outcome, you got to go to court. Amen. It is a judge or a jury that got to make a decision. Hallelujah. I dare you to praise him. Walk into that place like you just paid for it. Hallelujah. Because Jesus paid the cost to be the boss. Hallelujah. He paid the cost. Amen. For you to walk in that courtroom in faith. Hallelujah. To walk in that hospital room in faith. He died. He shed his blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can have the authority to walk into that school. Whatever you have to go into, hallelujah, believe in God, H having faith in God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for the people of God to not only have faith, but be, to be full of faith, hallelujah, be, walk in the fullness of faith and power in God. Hallelujah. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day, hallelujah. but I know who holds my hands. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I know who's on my side. I don't, I don't fear what man can do to me. Because I'm faithful to the God that saved me. He brought me up also out of a harbor pit. Placed my feet upon a rock. Established my goings. Put a new song in my lips. A praise unto my God. He keep on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Doing great things for me. He keeps making a way out of no way. I'm not deserving of the, all the things. All the blessing. I'm not even deserved to breathe. Hallelujah. But the, the breath of the Almighty has given me life. He breathed into me the breath of life. Hallelujah, I became a living soul because of his power, because of his anointing, because of his blessing, because of his great love for me. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I'm here, I'm only here because you kept me. Hallelujah, I'm alive today only because of your grace. God kept me and I wouldn't let go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He kept me, he kept you till this day. He keeping you tomorrow. He's gonna keep you down the road of life. And if he is faithful, hallelujah. How, how in the world we can't be faithful to him? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why we must cheat on him. Amen. Hallelujah. Why we must, amen, hang out and, and, and ask God where he going to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Where you going to be, Lord? Hallelujah. You going to be at the church? Hallelujah. So I know where I'm going to be. Hallelujah. Fulfilling the flesh and the lust thereof. Hallelujah. Walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You won't cheat on God. Lord, pastor, I just don't want to do this thing anymore. No I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Hallelujah. Ask the Savior to help you, comfort, strengthen you, keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. Repent, be baptized, every one of you for the mission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Bible declares it. Hallelujah. He decrees it. Amen. It's a command. Amen. Shall is an imperative. Amen. That's, that's called a command. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to happen, which means it's going to happen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we repent. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and confess our sins. He's just and faithful to forgive give us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness full not just getting faith be full of it hallelujah thank you jesus be full of the faith that god has given unto us amen hallelujah paul told them amen hallelujah to earnestly honestly amen fervently contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. I told y'all, there's a whole lot of them scripture, faith scriptures. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How earnestly 
Do it with your whole heart. We in our 90 days from August the 1st, amen, down through, amen, October, amen, hallelujah, our 90 days all in, amen, and this is a great time to be faithful, amen, to God, amen, every church service, try to make every service, amen, hallelujah, pay your tithes, pay your offering with your tithes, amen, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, be faithful to your community, amen, try to help your brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah, amen, in our 90 day, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, all in challenge, amen, hallelujah, be faithful to God, be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown of life. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but that's good. But be faithful in life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Be faithful in what you do to God. Amen. Yes, Pastor. Yes, I, we should be doing this all the time. Why are you picking 90 days? Amen. You got to start somewhere. Amen. Uh, the longest journey begin with a single step. Hallelujah. And for this whole time. Amen. Hallelujah. Just just put in. Amen. Be all in for God. Be all in and committed to your the ministry God has called you to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul told Timothy, take heed to thyself and to the doctrine and, and thou will both save thyself and them that hear thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Once you in Christ, once you walking in Christ, amen, be faithful unto him. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch how God bless. Hallelujah. Your life. Watch how he touch and deliver in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we, we, we bless God. We, we magnify his holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he is the mercies are new every morning, every day God give you, every new day that you see, every day you wake up, you give God praise for that day. A lot of people laid down that night that didn't get up that morning. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning. Amen. Can we just praise God for today, for this moment, this hour that he's given to us? Amen. He's been faithful. I'm, a, I'm alive a, another day and I'm giving you praise for it, Lord. Amen. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Amen. Therefore, will I Hope in him, the 24th verse, I'm in Lamentations 3, 24. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore, will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. He shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. The soul, to the soul that seeketh him. Amen. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Amen. Sometimes our situation and Satan will throw everything, the kitchen sink, the refrigerator, the house, he'll throw everything at you. Amen. The front yard, the block, he'll throw everything at you. Amen. So that you don't pay attention to your deliverer. Amen. He'll keep throwing darkness and hate and everything else that's just sadness, depression. He'll send all that stuff after you so you don't focus on the Lord because he said, amen, hallelujah, him I will keep in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on me. Amen. I will lift my eyes to the hills will come my help. My help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee shall not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. He is the shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. He shall preserve thee. He shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this day forward, even forevermore. Satan knows that. Hallelujah. So he wants to send everything to rent. Amen. Body, family, friends. Amen. All the things that he sent at you so you don't, that you'll forget that the Lord is my portion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. Hallelujah. And to the soul that seeketh him. Amen. 26 verse says, it is good that a man should hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our trust is in you. Peter said, where else can we go? You have the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. Where else can we go? They, uh, David said, whether shall I flee from thy presence? Hallelujah. If I make my bed in hell, you're there. If I take the wings of the morning and fly to the utmost, hallelujah, you're there, Lord. Lead me and guide me. You're everywhere. You're I'm not present. You're everywhere at the same time. So you're right here in my pain. Hallelujah. You're right here in this situation. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the violent shadow, death, I will feel no you, for thou art with me. You're right here in the midst of what I'm going through, but you also at my deliverance. Hallelujah. You're also at my freedom. You're also at my breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're also at my salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is good that a man or woman it is good that we should both hope and quietly wait. In other words, I'm not going to be out of sorts. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to lose my mind. David said someone else, I'm going to maintain my integrity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's good with me and God. You can yak all you want. You can fuss and have a fit all you want.
doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You ever seen people getting ready to fight? Hallelujah. I don't know if this is the best analogy, but amen. Here it is. Amen. How do you see two people ready to fight and the other one jumping around? Ah, and I know. And the other person just standing there with their arms folded. Hallelujah. <laughs> they just looking at them, waiting on them to move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And usually nine times out of ten, when that person that's calm sitting there looking at them, amen. When that person moved, the, the fight's over. Amen. The two hit. Amen. Fight. Amen. They hit them and they hit the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you peacefully and you quietly, amen, wait for salvation. In other words, you don't lose your mind. You don't get out of sorts because I know what God can do. I know the power of my God. I know the authority of my God. And if I'm in God's hand, hallelujah, there's nothing that the enemy can do to me. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When in my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Hallelujah. The last thing your enemy wants to do is lay down in front of you. Hallelujah. You come, they coming up against you to fight you. Amen. To destroy your flesh, to destroy you. And they fall in front of you. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. And so the enemy, the, the ungodly, Psalms 1 tells us, are not so, but like the shaft with the wind drive away, they are the hall. Amen. Of the seed. Amen. Hallelujah. And so they are not so. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They just make a whole bunch of noise. They just fussing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I went into the shop. Amen. This job work, working at this, this catering job. One, one first time, first day there. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, the dog just barking. Arr, 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 arr. He didn't move from the office, but he's standing at the door looking at me. Arr, 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 barking, barking, barking. Hallelujah. I said, amen. Amen. Don't you need to put that dog in the office? Hallelujah. Amen. And one of the other guys said, he's not barking. He's screaming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. So in other words, he was more afraid of me than I was of him. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And sometimes he's just making a whole lot of noise. Amen. The enemy is just making a whole lot of noise because that's all he can do. He can't touch you. Amen. As God told Satan, amen. Go, do what you want to, uh, to Job, but you can't touch his life. Amen. He can't touch you. And you're already delivered. When he shows up, it's because you're faithful. The devil shows up. Can I help somebody today? Hallelujah. The devil shows up in your life. He attacks you so much because you're uh, faithful. If you belong to him and working for him, he's not going to bother you. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's why that's why David asked, why do the heathen rage? Why do they imagine a vain thing? It seems like they don't nothing harm comes to them. Hallelujah. But they're not getting away. They, amen. Hallelujah. They just getting by. They're not getting away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so trust God, believe God, and stay faithful to him. Hallelujah. Amen. And fret not thyself because of evildoers, and be not envious against the workers of iniquity. They shall be uh, soon cut down like grass and wither like the green herb. Amen. God is faithful to us. Hallelujah. He'll take care of the enemy. He'll take care of you. He'll give you peace in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. You can count it all joy as, as while you while you uh, fall into divers temptations for the trying of your faith worketh trust or worketh patience. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it be tried by others. You you know your faithfulness in God. Don't let go, brothers, sisters. Amen. Believers in Christ Jesus. Hold on to God. I know you're going through. We all are going through trials and tribulations. That's why we work together. That's why we lock arms together. That's why we build up one another in this most holy faith trust god believe god hallelujah and be full of the faith in god hallelujah study the word of god amen study to show yourself approved under god a workman and not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth amen and receive god's word faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god hallelujah amen faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god which i've given you today Amen. Hallelujah. So receive the word of God and be blessed. Receive the word of God and be blessed. Receive the word of God and make and persevere through those obstacles that's in your path. Amen. Hallelujah. Through the help of the Lord. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. God is with you. He loves you. Hallelujah. Amen. He don't want you in it. He wants you delivered from it. He told Moses, I put you in the wilderness to prove you. Amen. To see what sort you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so we need to know that sometimes trials and tribulations come to make us strong. Amen. Make us stronger to, to, to increase our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. To, to bless us, to, to walk in the fullness of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Those that have been through 
amen, know those that have been down the road and been hurt and battered and abused and amen, talked about, lied on, amen, mistreated. Hallelujah. All of you, you know, amen, and you're full of faith, amen. So help somebody else who's going through, amen. Have some compassion, amen. Baby, just pray. Yes, they should just pray because we're about to pray in a few minutes. Hallelujah. But we need to have faith in God. We also have faith. We need to have faith because without faith, it's impossible to please him. Hallelujah. He that cometh to him must first believe that he is and he is a rewarder. I think I read that this week. Hallelujah to them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Because I have faith in him. You want to make a phone call. You go to that phone. You expect that phone to run call. Amen. Hallelujah. You go in the refrigerator. You expect things to be cold. You got more faith in the refrigerator than we have in God. Hallelujah. Amen. We cut on the TV. You expect your channels to be there, your favorite shows to be there, to come on the night that you expected to come on. Amen. If there's a news break or something, amen, that breaks in there on your show, you more matter that your show not on than what happened in the news. Amen. Hallelujah. It could be a horrible event, but you're more matter that they cut off my show. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I'm so used to seeing it. I want to see what happens. Amen. Hallelujah. And in faith, we know what will happen. God is going to deliver. I'm going to make it through. Amen. We might know the, might not know the circumstances, but we know the faithfulness and the power of God in our life. Believe God. Believe God today. Have faith in him and be full of that faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Amen. Stand on the promises of Jesus. Stand on the word of God. Amen. And be faithful to him. Hallelujah. Be thou faithful unto death. I'll give you a crown of life. Amen. But you don't have to wait to die. Amen. Hallelujah. You wait to live. Amen. Live in him. Amen. Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus name. I pray I said something that helped you. Amen. Hallelujah. That helped you walk a little bit further. Amen. Go down this road of life a little bit better. Hallelujah. And walk in that fullness of faith, full faith. I know God, I know he can do this, but man, cancer is a, is a, death is a big thing. Amen. Hallelujah. High blood pressure. The doctor told me if I don't do this, this is going to happen. Hallelujah. Whatever it may be, whatever they said to you, amen, is not greater than the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to the glory of God. His name is above every name. Hallelujah. So I don't care what they said. Amen. Mind what they say now. And no use in going to the doctor. You're not doing what they say. Uh, Pastor Phil said, I don't need that stuff. Amen. I didn't say that. Hallelujah. Amen. It's foolishness to be paying your PPO and HMO. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Or whatever it is, your insurance or your copay, whatever it may be, you it don't make no sense to waste money going to a doctor and not doing what they say. That, that's just nonsense. Hallelujah. Amen. It's nonsense. Jesus healed. How can he heal if they wasn't sick? Hallelujah. Amen. So we, that's nonsense. So we ask God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. Need to uh, listen. Amen. And obey. Amen. Hallelujah. And go to physicians. Jesus sent the people that he healed to the physicians. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No, I didn't tell you not to go to no, you know, faith will, uh, that that not to go to the doctor because faith will take care of it. Faith will take care of it. God can heal. Amen. Hallelujah. But you go to that doctor. Amen. Hallelujah. And verify what God did. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In you. Hallelujah. And if he don't do it, go to the doctor. Amen. Take your pills. Take them all the way through. Listen to read the label. Amen. And do what it says. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I think people can get very foolish. Amen. Hallelujah. And they think they say it's faith, but it's foolishness. And fool, a fool have said in his heart, there is no God. So you're actually walking in foolishness. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray for Ronald. He hurt his knee. My nephew. Amen. Hallelujah. Over in the Navy. He praying for this young man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's serving our country. Amen. My other nephew. Amen. Uh, Artez as well in the Army. Army Navy game. We have an Army Navy game every homecoming. Hallelujah with Tez and, and Ronald. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And all of you that serve this country or have served our country, we thank God for you. We're praying for all our service people all over the world, all our first responders, policemen, amen, firemen, all the people that work so hard, amen, for others. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray for everyone. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. 
We praise and magnify your holy name. We thank you, amen, for every person that's on this line, everybody that's listening on the podcast. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for everybody. And God, everybody has needs, amen. You heard the request from the mom about her son, amen, who hurt his knee. Lord God, we ask you to heal, amen. You made him. You know what he needs, amen, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, hallelujah, that you heal his body in the name of Jesus, his heart, his mind, his soul, Lord God, complete healing for that young man, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Artez, and hallelujah. Now, I can't leave the other boys out, amen. Tobin and Joseph, Lord God, we speak healing over the family in the name of Jesus. Their children and uh, uh, ch- children's children, Lord God, bless, touch, and deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Bless the homes and families of everybody here on this conference line, amen, hallelujah, and on Messenger, Lord God, hallelujah. Lord God, bless all of them that are listening Amen. Uh, via podcast, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, meet the needs of your people, Lord God. Lord God, there's wars and rumors of wars. There's a lot of things going on in this world, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. That people, amen, hearts are failing them because of fear, Lord God. But he whom the Son has made free is free indeed. We are not going to trust in the things of this world. We are not going to trust what man can do to us. Lord God, we're going to trust in you. We're going to believe on you. As you said, as the scriptures have said, and out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. We love you. We praise you. We magnify your holy name, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being our God. We thank you, Lord God, for reaching into the jail cells, Lord God, the prison wards, Lord God, the the the, the convalescent at home, Lord God, Lord God, those in uh, um, assisted living, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hospital room. Lord God, go where we can't go, touch where we can't touch. Somebody's getting ready for surgery right now. Lord God, you do surgery, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In schools, Lord God, as the kids, some have already gone back to school and some are preparing to go back to school. Lord God, hallelujah. We ask, Lord, for your covering over them. In the name of Jesus, protect our young people, Lord God, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of the heaven, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the children come unto you, forbid them not. And as they've been told what to worship, they've been told what not to worship. They've been told who they are, Lord God. Hallelujah. And what they are, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Help us as believers to be faithful to you and walk in faithfulness. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Lord God. Let somebody that has you in their life, Lord God, hallelujah, talk to those kids, Lord God, and lead them, Lord God, in righteousness, Lord God, and let them choose Christ today, amen. Be filled with your spirit, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. When it's, when, when it's our job, all of our job, all adults' job to, to prepare those kids, amen, to be productive members of society, amen, hallelujah. Help us to do that job. Help us to do our job as adults to train up those children in the way that they should go. And when, when they're old, it won't depart from them. And Lord God, bless us and keep us and deliver us, amen, hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless your family. Love you in Jesus name. Keep us in prayer as we continue to pray for you. Scroll up. Amen. You find something to pray for. If you have nothing to pray for, go up the line and see that name. See Ronald pray for him and the others, Shema and all the other ones. Keep them in prayer. Amen. Sister, sister Lindy and all those. Amen. Hallelujah. The prayer band. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to keep those people in prayer. Keep sister. Amen. Teresa, sister Jackson. Amen. Elder Anita Fields, Mama Fields. Amen. All of y'all on here. Amen. Sister Renee. Uh, Robinson, amen, hallelujah, Alexis, Sister Alexis, Annabelle, amen, hallelujah, all those that, all our regulars, amen, Minister Dequila, uh, all the regulars, amen, keep them in prayer, and the ones that's not regular, amen, keep them in prayer as well, Evangelist Jennings, amen, hallelujah, Brother Robinson, amen, all, Sister Faith, amen, and her family, Sister Golden Giddens, amen, James Lewis, Joan Proctor, amen, Joseph uh, Gellack, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on, keep them all in prayer, Maria Robinson, amen, Apostle Letford, amen, hallelujah, amen, Evangelist Bailey, amen, hallelujah, Minister Eubanks, 
Amen. Dr. Toby Fields, that profound word, Lord. Reggie Smith, I'm calling these names out on this list. Re Renee Carney, amen, hallelujah. Uh, Keisha Coleman, keep her before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Rosie Ford, amen. Deacon Wright, hallelujah. Brother Sherman Jones, Suzanne Parker, uh, Teresa Phillips, uh, hallelujah. Stovall, Sister Stovall, amen. Vernadine Green, amen. Whitney, my daughter, amen. Yvette Winder, keep her before the Lord. Yvonne Burrell. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother, Brother Morris. Amen. DeAndre Morris. Keep him before the Lord. Keep all the people of God and the family of God. Amen. Anybody else? I, I didn't I didn't call your name out. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Evangelist Thompson, Elisa, her mom. Amen. Hallelujah. Who, who's in the hospital. Amen. Keep her mom before the Lord. And Sister Jenny. Amen. Evangelist Jenny. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep her before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Elaine. Amen. Sister Elaine Fisher. Keep her before the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Dorothy Holland. Amen. Uh, Brother Dwight Robinson. Amen. Netta Robinson. Keep them before the Lord. Ricky Nolan. Hallelujah. Brother D. Hallelujah. Keep them before the Lord. Toya. Keep her before the Lord. Darlene Griffin. Clayton. Amen. They and they commemorate the loss of their mom one year ago. Amen. All the Ashby family and extended families. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Gales. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't think I got everybody. Amen. On our That's the prayer band. That's 50. I think almost 50. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for all of them and keep them before the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Just a prayer group, a noonday prayer band. Amen. So keep them before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep a God baby before the Lord. All the churches that are represent Tower Power. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, all the churches that are being represented on this conference. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep them before the Lord. Agape, uh, uh, Tower Power. Amen. I'm claiming a lot of these names on here anyway. So, hallelujah. Just say Agape and Tower Power for now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at any other churches. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't see any right now. Amen. But you can put your church up there. We can pray for your church as well. Amen. You put the name of your church up. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we'll pray for that church and the past and the leaders there as well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep the ministries in because that's the way the faith is. Amen. The believers in Christ. Amen. And my people that are called by my name, he wants the people of God to pray. Amen. He'll heal the land. Amen. So keep those people in prayer as we continue to pray for noonday. I will be out of town. Amen. For
Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invites you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.